Hi internet, how are you doing? I'm sorry it's been a while, um, we've been hard at it. But one of the videos that we really wanted to do was how to assemble Smartbench. So, um, I've laid out all the components for Smartbench as if they'd just come out of the van or I've unpacked it from the garage. Um, we have a camera over there, we've got Dave on the gimbal. Say hi Dave. Hi Dave. <laughs> um, we've got a three minute timer down here, which uh, we're gonna try and beat. My personal best is 248. Um, so I'll be interested to see how I do with the whole camera pressure thing. So without any further ado, Dave, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, ready? Steady. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk you through what I'm doing. I'm gonna take a pair of legs and just put them underneath my bench um, so that I can lift up the lower X beam and engage that lower X beam with the end of the Y bench. Put my wheels on here. Which then engages the rack. I'll get my legs back. Pull that down. Unfold these. And these engage into the end plates of our Y bench. Like so. Over center locks. Same again this end. I'll fold the white, uh, I'll fold the legs. Same thing again, just lift that up. Slot those in to our white end plates. Nice locks. Okay, this is the upper X beam. So we're gonna lift this up, carry that over and just slide that over our two clamp skids at the end of our lower X. Drop that down and then plug it in. And all the looms run through the lower X and then clip in on a single loom there. We've done Y, we've done X. Let's lead Z. So I'll take the Z. We'll lay that in again. Engage the wheels and the pinion. After that comes a loom connection. So that's all our comms. Goes through to the brain of the machine, and they get clamped. Latch plates. The next one's going to be a power loom, which obviously gives it the juice. Uh, we keep those separate by the way because it's, uh, it's good practice um, from the electronics perspective to keep the power away from the signal. So, uh, hence two looms. Uh, we're just going to lock that in place as well with the thumb screws. Which leaves one final thing which is the console, which is down here. We take the console and put that. In, and then we take this loom and we plug it in. It's on an XLR. Oh, I saw nine on that. That means that means two fifty one. Maybe it was because I was talking. I'm going to put it down to talking. That is a very very brief tour as to uh, the fundamental components of Smartbench. We'll talk about uh, things like work holding and that in more videos to come. So uh, I hope that's been informative. Uh, watch this space. We'll try and get on to making more videos as soon as possible. In the meantime, take it easy. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Leave your comments below. Thanks. Bye.